What's up guys? Today we're talking about my shotgun. We're talking about my shotgun rig and how I use everything together. So this video is partly going to be about special operations equipment and all the cool gear I have for my shotgun from them. And it's also going to be about my Mossberg 500, how I have it set up and what I use. So before we get into a tabletop, I'm just going to give you a brief rundown of how I have everything set up. So I have a row of buckshot on the 12 gauge micro rig. I have a row of slugs on the 12 gauge micro rig. And so that's how this works. I have slugs here and I have buckshot here and buckshot in the tube. Now I don't keep one in the chamber on the shotgun because they are not drop safe. Most shotguns are not drop safe. So I do not keep it uh, ready to go. I keep it, uh, what is it called, cruiser ready uh, with not one in the pipe but with a bunch of them in the tube. And that's all buckshot in the tube. And so these are removable shotgun cards from SOE that I have on the stock and on the side of the receiver. And then in the 12 gauge micro, I have a cat tourniquet on the bottom and I have a full VOC from Tactical Response plus some extra stuff in there for my medical equipment. I'm also wearing a hat from Special Operations Equipment. I'm wearing my belt from Special Operations Equipment. The sling is also from Special Operations Equipment. And the patches are from Mookie and Gary at Tremis Dynamics. And so Mookie has his own website, Mookie Militia. And then Gary has his website, Tremis Dynamics. I'm not sponsored by any of these people. They're just my friends. And so that's why they all get a shout out. Let's get into the tabletop. All right, guys, so what we have on the table, minus the straps and stuff, I don't have any of the, um, like the H harness or anything, I just have the normal straps, but I took them off just to clutter less on the table. But what we have here is my SOE 12 gauge micro, fitted out with a uh, tactical response VOC and some other stuff in this pouch, a cat tourniquet here. We have two rows of, buck, or of slug here, and two rows of buckshot here. We also have a, a buckshot card on the side of the receiver and a tube full of buckshot. We have an excess big dot on the front and we have another uh, panel full of slugs on the butt. And then we have two other uh, SOE shotgun cards just to show those off um, along with an SOE single point sling. Now some things I'm gonna change on this are, I'm gonna add a light up here I'm going to add a sling attachment to the front and the back, and I'm going to put a double point, uh, two point SOE sling on there. I'm probably going to outfit it with Magpul furniture at some point, but for now, this is how I have it set up. This is what's working for me, uh, and I'm hoping to take Fighting Shotgun this year with this setup and see what works, what doesn't work, uh, and really get use of my SOE 12 gauge micro. So. Uh, a little bit about SOE. So I've had great, if not better than great, phenomenal uh, results with uh, SOE. I have had nothing but good experiences with them. John and Amanda and the crew there are awesome. They are always nice when you go visit the shop when you're in town for classes. Uh, and John even went out of his way to make me a belt when I was in town. So I, uh, I always am putting in orders and then I forget about them and then it's Christmas uh, when they roll in. Well this uh, literally got here the day before Christmas, the 12 gauge micro, uh, and I'd ordered it a few months prior. And I've still got some stuff on order, but it's going to be like Christmas when those get in, like a uh, flat medical pouch for my armor, so that I can take the big fat medical kit off of there and put it somewhere else. I think that's it for right now, but I need to put in a rifle mat and a sandbag so that when I build my 700 out, uh, I can have some long range accessories from SOE just like I have accessories for everything else from them. And so that's really it, guys. It's just a simple Mossberg 500. It holds eight or seven plus one. It holds eight plus one if you're using low brass birdshot. It holds seven plus one with buckshot and slugs. And that's all two and three quarter. It would hold less with three inch. And so um, it's got all SOE, everything. That's how I run it. That's how it was working for me. And so this video was just supposed to be short and it was just kind of me testing out the new camera, the new equipment. The audio is probably going to be kind of bad in this, but my mic will be here next week 
and so I'll have a good road mic and all the wind stuff so that I can go outside and shoot and film. And so look forward to some more shooting videos soon. I have a trigger install coming soon. I'm definitely going to be reviewing more guns and more products and more uh, stuff like that. But I'm also going to have more videos in my gym coming up soon. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm having so much fun filming this for you guys. It has been such a good experience so far. Thank you to everybody who has supported me in any way. I have been blessed with such amazing friends. And so I want you guys to know that I love you and that uh, I am so thankful for all of you guys that are watching and all of you guys that are helping me and all of you guys who are my friends. So thank you. I end all my videos like this. If you want anything bad enough in life, uh, you'll find a way to get it. So never quit. Crush your goals. <music>